Hey guys, I bought this IP um, intercom system from the web and basically been trying to look for an online tutorial uh, at a lot of the videos that are out there are either in Russian or there, are, there is no, no spoken uh, soundtrack on top of it to tell us what plugs into what so I thought I'd create one now that I've actually got it working um, so what we've got here is a PoE switch from Dawa uh, VTNS 1060A now I've managed to find a power pack from an old hard disk a lacy hard disk that seems to work because the one that actually gets shipped in the box they don't tell you this but it's don't know if you can see that it's not connected Right, so they expect you to do a bit of soldering yourself. Um, now some people may be able to do that, but I don't have a soldering iron and I managed to find a cable that fits. So first things first is this CAT6 goes out to my modem and it's literally just plug that in. And then you've got one each for the actual intercom system itself and another one for the seven inch display screen. Uh, there's a little bit of configuration to do. Um, the important thing is the default IP is 192.168.1.110 and the 7 inch display comes in at 192.168.1.109 but um, here's basically how it works once you've got it all connected you press that, it pings through so we'll talk about this one first this is assuming the unit's going to be in a separate room. You can press answer. The door is unlocked. Unlock the door the and hang up. And that's how that works. If I do that door again, you'll notice there is also a push notification that comes up in your phone. And I can answer that from anywhere. Again. Unlock. The door is unlocked. You can see the video feed's slightly laggy. That's because my phone is not on a Wi-Fi network. This is actually going out through 4G and coming back in. So the car is not answered. That's the quick tutorial. A um, few settings and things you can do on here. Obviously, have a play around with that when you get it. But it's fairly straightforward once you've got the IP settings right. Only word of advice I'd say is that make sure you use a PC and Internet Explorer. I run Macs and uh, unfortunately Safari, Chrome, Firefox, none of that works to better log into the user interface for this device. Um, hope that's helpful. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions.